Now to the latest on the standoff in New Jersey that ended with the FBI shooting and killing a kidnapping suspect that happened before dawn in Leonia. Yeah, and it really shook neighbors in that quiet community. Our Dan Bowens is there now with the very latest on how this all unfolded. Dan. Yeah, Lori and Steve, you can see there's still a police presence here, even after all these hours. Of course, this all started earlier this week down in Philadelphia. The department there reported a missing 17-year-old boy. Well, that investigation led the FBI all the way to this block where that suspect was shot and killed. Police in Leonia, New Jersey, blocking the intersection at Lakeview Avenue late into Wednesday evening. The focus remains at the apartment complex at the end of the street, where a complicated investigation ended with a suspect dead and a kidnapping victim set free. I was sleeping when the, uh, I heard some noise that said, bum, bum, bum. There was a bunch of police officers over there. It ended here in this quiet Bergen County town, but began 90 miles away in Philadelphia. A 17-year-old boy kidnapped this week. FBI offices across the region searching for him and tracking the boy to this apartment, leading to the early standoff Wednesday morning. Here, this is the FBI. Come out with your, you know, come out with your hands up. We see you at the window. No one was coming. This went on for about 20 minutes. No one was coming up. There was more gunshots. The bureau releasing this statement, saying, "Quote: FBI Newark agents responded to that location during a confrontation. A male suspect was fatally shot. The victim was recovered safely, taken to the hospital for evaluation, and released. And late Wednesday, the FBI's inspection division is." still on scene, conducting its own investigation into the shooting. Exactly why this happened, still unclear. It, it felt like a bomb. It really did. It felt like a bomb. But just how frightening this all was for anyone who lives around here will be hard to forget. It's just, it's just devastating when something like this happens in your neighborhood. And again, this 17-year-old boy was treated and released from the hospital at this hour. It is still unclear what connection, if any, he had to that suspect. Lori and Steve. Very well. All right. Thanks, Sam.